This is your national perspective provided by Global Transport. I'm Andrew Gribble here with Zach Jackson of The Athletic. And Zach, what, what stood out to you last week when you watched the Browns go through those two practices in the game in Indianapolis? Well, the first day, it was just the speed. You know, you watch the Browns, so you see another team, you kind of adjust. Uh, I thought the Colts were an impressive team. I mean, they won 10 games last year. The second day, I saw a different focus from the Browns. It's just practice, but this offense, when it wants to rev it up, it has that extra gear. Um, how much, you know, how far can they take it? I don't know, but there's a lot of pieces. It's an exciting time. And, and when you look ahead to these final two weeks, what, what are the position battles that you really think are still going on and when it comes down to making that 53-man roster decision? Well, wide receiver, minimum of seven guys who have a legitimate chance. Keep six, probably. Tight end's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out there. And on the secondary, I mean, there's 13 or 14 guys I think could make it and probably 11 do. So uh, still a lot can happen in these next two weeks, but this is a really good roster and you're going to be a really good player if you make it. And then going into this training camp, you obviously had some preconceived ideas. What has maybe surprised you about what you've seen these last few weeks? Well, DJ Montgomery's come out of nowhere. I don't know exactly what his injury status is, but he can really run and he might make the team. Dearness Johnson has come out of nowhere. He was working on a fishing boat last year at this time. <laughs> he might be on the roster. Uh, Garrett Gilbert's been better than I thought. I think the Browns have to keep three quarterbacks. So, you know, across the board, I, I think the, the uh, defensive line and secondary are a little bit deeper than I thought as well. And then maybe what's one area that you want to see maybe improve before the season gets started? Well, the kicking is scary. <laughs> um, just, you know, the offensive line, you'd like to be settled. And I mm -hmm. think it is, but maybe not totally. You'd like to be settled and get revving up there. And then you just had so many guys with mostly minor injuries, which is the good part. But it just takes a while for everybody. You know, even when you run a hard camp, you don't get to full speed until a few weeks into the season. So you need experienced players that have been there as you kind of iron things out before you start clicking. All right. Thanks, Zach. For more interviews like that, check out Best Podcasts available wherever you get your podcasts.